Hi everyone, so today I wanted to share with you some of my recent beauty purchases. I went to Sephora and also I went to Ulta to get a couple things. So I'm going to start with Sephora because it was it's pretty easy stuff. I'm going to take everything out of the bag. So I went there um, to get um, my birthday gift because I get one every year. Um, all the beauty insiders, um, if you have one of the Sephora cards every year on your birthday, you get a gift. So it was the... Um, Benefits, they're real mascara with a mini watts up um, highlighter, which I've used that mascara before. And this itty bitty tiny little product is perfect for actually um, for travel. So that's what I got for free, which is awesome. Then I um, went there and I wanted to see, I saw this kit online. It's the Give Me Some Lip um, Sephora Favorites kit, which had all these lip products. And I wanted to try and venture out into a couple different brands that I haven't tried before. Um, like the Laura Mercier, I've never tried any of the lip products, or NARS. I have tried something from Bite before, but never um, anything like the crayon type thing. So, I actually used one of the colors today in the video that I filmed today. And it's, if you're wondering, I'm wearing it right now, and it's the Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Dolly. So that's a nice, kind of neutrally color. I like that. Sydney. Sorry about that. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can hold it up. And so those are all the products. You get actually a full size um, lip surgeons from Tarte in the color Glitzy, which I don't think I have this color. And it's just nice kind of glossy um, pinky bronze shade. And then just the lip pencil from Bite. And then also the oh so famous NARS Turkish Delight, which I've never tried. Never tried anything from Laura Mercier. This is a good size um, mini sample. And then I have tried this before from Fresh. It's the um, Sugar Tinted Lip Balm Treatment. And this is in the color Rose rose or Rosé, whatever, however you pronounce it. It gives you a nice little pretty um, reddish tint on the lips. These feel awesome. It's These are the best lip balms ever. I wish they weren't so expensive because I would have a ton of them. And then I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I wanted to get something that was a little bit more of a brightening effect um, for my under eye area. I use the Well Rested, but sometimes since that is so pigmented as far as the color itself, it kind of makes my eyes look really light compared to um, my foundation, especially now in the summertime, because I have a little bit of a tan still left over from um, when I went to the beach back in June. Um, because I, I burned so badly that I still have a tan. It's starting to fade, but sometimes I want something different. I think I'm just starting to get a little bored. And then I want to find something that I can use also to highlight without it being so frosty because I have oily skin. And if I use something like the Watts Up, this is just like a straight up, let me show you, um, cream highlighting product that is very, very frosty. If the light catches it, it's really pretty but frosty is not so good for oily skin so I went there with intentions of finding something that I can use for under the eye area as well so I came across these powders it's a diffused light is the one that I have here and I actually show you how I use it in the video that I filmed today just a light kind of ivory neutrally color it has a little bit of a sheen to it but the shimmer particles is so like very fine that you can't even tell that they're there but it gives a little bit of a bright brighten effect which I like um, and that's the whole point of using something like this so I actually use this under my eyes today and a little bit on the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow I like it um, I don't like the price tag this was $45 um, for this powder and this is something you can use all over which I plan on doing that um, but this also helps with redness it says re reduces the appearance of redness eliminates shine and gives skin clarity so don't know. Um, I, I like it so far. I was playing with some of the other colors. They have, I think, like six in total for this ambient um, powders. So they have some with pinky tones and one that's a little bit bronzy and then another one that's a little bit more on the whiter shade. This is more of like a kind of like a creamy ivory color. Um, so I'm going to give that a try and see how that works. And that's good to set your foundation as well because it's really thin and sheer. So it's not so heavy on top of a liquid foundation. So that's a good thing about it. Then for Ulta, nothing too terribly exciting. Let me take out my receipt. I got some samples from skincare samples because I bought some my skincare stuff from Dermalogica. Let me take this out. 
Um, let's see. So my Dermalogica purchase, nothing really exciting. I got my special cleansing gel and my active moist moisturizer. I got the 1.7 and then the 8.4 ounce of the special cleansing gel because I'm already out of my little mini ones from the trial kit that I showed you guys in my updated skincare video, which like I said in that video, there's a uh, video coming all about um, acne and some tips and stuff like that coming up very soon. I'm still putting it together because I want it to be just right um, to help everybody out there. So if you have any questions that you want me to include in that video or any tips or anything that you want to ask me, leave it below so I can put it in there before I finalize the editing process on that video. Um, let's see. Oh, I got the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is the oil control one. I got the one that's the one ounce. It's an oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. And I got a small one because the larger one is a little bit kind of pricey. This was um, $14, but that's enough to last a while. So you shake it up, you take it, and you spray it. Make sure you hold it a little bit away from your face. You're supposed to do an X motion and then a T, as the instructions say. So I did not use this today, I should have used it today, um, but um, haven't gotten around to using it too much. Um, I've used it maybe once or twice at most. Um, and then I got a new lip product from L'Oreal. This is the Rose On and On. This is one of their, I don't even know what line this is from, pretty sure it's the Color Riche. It's number 184. It's one of those like glossy um, lip stains. So it has a cool little um, applicator, looks like that, and I'll do a little swatch of the color and then wipe it off quickly. So it's a nice kind of neutrally pink, kind of like an everyday color, which is good. And I like stains, it's like especially the Tarte Lip Surgeons ones because they feel really comfortable and it's something I can slap on and I don't have to worry about it because I'm so busy with a baby that things like this really make my life a lot easier. And that is... It. I know that was pretty fast. I just wanted to get this video done as soon as possible to show you guys some of my new stuff. You will be seeing some of these things um, in upcoming tutorials as well. Um, I used some of it today. So thanks again for joining me for this video. If you have any questions about anything, if you want me to review something that I showed you guys, leave it below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can get updates on... I pretty much post something there on a regular basis. Also... If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It is free so that you have access to my videos and you get to see um, all the goodness that's coming in future videos. So click the button above my head because, like I said, it's free. And I love the support that you guys give me. It makes me feel really good that you, some of you are watching me from the very beginning. Still watch me to this day, which I appreciate that. And it means the world to me. So thanks again, and I hope you guys ha are having a great weekend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.